again back to the third tutorial on intersystems cache mumps old school this is where we're going to learn about a command called set and what set does it sets data so what we could do for example we could have set um, x equals 1 okay set x equals 1 z right x is equal to 1 now we could use shorthand so we could have set x equals 1 y equals 2 so set x equals 1 comma y equals 2 if I z write that you'll see that x is 1 and y is 2 um, we could have something like set x y z equal to 3 so if I do that so set x y z equal to 3 uh, hang on that's because I've copied a stupid character paste right so z write that and we've got x y and z equals to 3 all of them um, we could have something like this set oops set animal equals dog animal equals cat animal equals 2.5 so in that case what do you think will happen if we paste that so we've got set animal equals dog animal equals cat animal equals 2.5 what do you think the value will be right well the values will be uppercase animal will be 2.5 and lowercase animal will be cat so as you can see we've got uppercase animal and lowercase animal the reason uppercase animal is 2.5 is because we originally set uppercase to dog and then later on in the line we rechanged that to 2.5 and obviously we've done a, a lowercase um, so to us animal 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 means the same but to a computer it's different um, we could do I don't know set x equals 45 plus 23 for say for instance a few maths things <coughs> so edit paste so oh, damn, I don't know why it's doing that some reason anyway um, so set x equals 45 to plus 23 so the value of x will be 68 so there it is 68 okay um, we could have something like set x equals um, I don't know 45 plus 23 um, divided by 65 so set x equals 45 plus 23 divided by 65 what do you think the value of x will be it should be 1 because 45 plus 23 is 65 and then we divide 65 by 65 equals 1 um set array five equals five right said right array so we've got an array with a number five as a subscript and the data is five so what would happen if we did this 
let's put in two. Okay, what do you think will happen with that? Right. If we Z write array, what do you think you'll see now? Do you think you'll see array five equals five, array two equals two? You will, but it'll be the opposite other way around because it puts it in alphabetical order. That's the beauty of cache mumps. Everything is alphabetical. So, so if we put in there, I don't know, number three. Set array number four. Set array number one. So let's copy them. Let's see what we've got there. So it doesn't didn't matter what order we put them in. We put them in. We did an array number five first, then a number two, then three, four, and one. But as you can see, mumps, let's put it in alphabetical order. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So what would happen if we did this set array one? Uh, hang on. I don't know if this will work or not. Actually, I don't think it will. I think it will give an error. 1.5. As you can see, it's automatically slot the 1.5 in. So that's what we had before, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've set array 1.5 equals 1.5 and it's shoved it in there. 1, 1.5, 2 and so on. Right. Um, right, so set what do you think it'll do there? Set if one equal set if x equals one, f equals two hundred. What do you think will happen? What will happen is Cache will look in the um, the, the, the terminal to see if there's any variables that exist called x, which there is there. There's one there called x. So it's saying set f equals 200 if x equals 1. So we should have a variable now called f that's the value of 200. And there it is. Um, there are loads more of other stuff to do. So again, this is just a very, very short example. Um, so that's set. The next one I'll be doing is for loops. Thank you.